We're going to use Google Drawing uh, to show you how to get students interacting with your um, and collaborating on your interactive whiteboard. So first thing you're going to do is click on Google Drawings and after we get things set up we would use this just like we would a smart notebook or whatever else you might be using. I can put in my basic shapes. I can change their color. I would change this regular line to a scribble and then you can use grab your pen and just write like you normally would. It should probably look a little bit better than that if you're using your freehand writing uh, and not a mouse. I can also copy and paste pictures into here and resize them and do all those normal types of, types of things. Now you don't have to do this all on the fly. Um, we can also set things up for our students. So here is uh, something that I got set up. Actually this was shared with me from a colleague in Fond du Lac. And so this is set up and we want the kids to go around and build these atoms. So I have already gone through and shared this uh, with a student. Now I can go unlogged into a Chromebook. I can go as that student and I'm making the changes on another computer so we can actually see what that student is thinking and that students work right on our Chromebooks. I don't know if that's correct or not but it's got to be pretty close. Another example would be in geography. Um, we've got these countries set up so we can move them. Uh, once again we can change their colors. We can we had the teacher had the students doing some research on capitals and labeling and doing those sorts of things. Another example is a diagram, a Venn diagram, and doing some categorization. So you don't have to do this individually with each student. If you've got a Google Classroom set up, you could share it with them via Google Classroom. We could have all the kids uh, brainstorming and putting ideas on here at the same time. So it's a really neat way uh, to get those kids uh, building their own knowledge and showing them, showing you what they know. So I encourage you to do this if you need help either setting up your own drawing or your tool, those tools, or how to share with Google Classroom or another service like that, please, please contact me. I'd be happy to help you get started.